guys, STL Youngblood with you, and I'm doing a little shadow play test, and uh, if this actually works with recording, uh, this is going to turn into a video, so I will be right back. Alright, so as you guys heard, that actually worked. Now, I'm a big fan of shadow play so far. Um, very small file sizes, the impact on performance is very negligible. Um, all in all, I think it's an excellent tool. Um, however, there's two hang-ups I have about Shadow Play, and the first of which is that the uh, audio is only set for in-game, so you can't record your own microphone. The other one is the 4GB uh, maximum file size, and once you exceed that, it actually uh, shuts off recording. Uh, that being said, uh, I found a workaround for the uh, issue about recording your own microphone. Now, if you actually right-click on your speaker icon in Windows 7, uh, what you're going to want to do is go to your recording devices, uh, then go to properties on your microphone, and from there, if you go over to listen, you can choose to listen to this advice, or this device. Um, and that's what I'm doing right now, and that's why I sound a little bit distracted, because you get like a half a second delay of it, your speakers replaying what you're saying into your microphone. That being said, since it is coming through the microphone, or going through the microphone onto the speakers, um, it will allow you to record your own voice in-game. So if you want to do live comms, or if you just say funny things and like to make funny videos, um, this is something that you can do. You will kind of get used to hearing your own voice, although it is incredibly distracting. So, um... That, you know, that's it. Give it a try. Um, if you are using Shadow Play, uh, it's at least a workaround for now. Uh, remember, this is in beta, so hopefully there's going to be a lot more options coming later, specifically with the audio piece and the uh, file size. So uh, that's it for now. Hopefully this helps, and I'll talk to you guys later.